All right, Bay Manning, today is uh, Thursday. It's May 5th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Uh, today's show, there's going to be a mediation of sorts. I have been joined by White Sox Dave, uh, Nick, and KB. Thank uh, you. Nick, KB, welcome. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you for having Thank us. You, yeah. um, so there was a debate outside. There was a debate two weeks ago between you and White Sox Dave mm-hmm. about addressing things. I'll let you take the floor. Not a debate. Yeah. Not Advice. A debate. Okay. Debate. Advice. Yeah. All, right. All right. All right. Sorry. It was uh, people were making fun of your hair. Fair. Very. Yeah. But. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you what did you do when people were making fun of your hair? What did you do? OK. You took off your cap and you put the crown had, of your head that was... towards the camera and went like this. And I said, why do you do that? Nobody asked for that. You did it on your own accord. Yes. You're opening yourself up to criticism. Everything mm-hmm. that happens to you, you feel the need to address further and further, only digging yourself in a deeper pit. It's the Streisand effect. Is that actually what it's called? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Is it a disease? I wouldn't say it's a disease. <laughs> it's an effect. Could I be cured of it? If you yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> what are you laughing at over because, here? Okay, uh, because I, everybody I, knows I, it's I, true. I'm but, kind of out of what. Give me an example of something he's done recently aside from the hair. That, that he's addressed? It's, he addresses everything. He'll take it to Twitter. He'll have no. a video. And it just gives people more ammo. Mm-hmm. He addressed. Uh, I like. I think, are I you think talking about like, like the post game? I think he has the, a kink for that. I do for too. For the Houston Astros, like when they lost to the Astros in the playoffs last year, I got a lot of shit for that video. I was like, "This is still an awesome team." Blah. Like, I feel like that's something I should be doing. I'll give you a better one. So he addressed. He we did a snake draft. He took uh, 2000s comedies five overall. He took Shrek, mm-hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> and and a lot of people were Same like stunned thing. because. Let me give you the order, guys. You guys like comedy. Right? Yeah, that was your first pick. Yes, his first yeah. pick. So the, the draft went was from... The, 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 the fictional animated ogre. Yes. Yeah, it went super it, bad. I, I don't even... Was it funny? Yeah. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah. It was funny. Yeah. I mean... I mean, I, so everybody, the whole thing Everybody was always I, likes to laugh at, like, the big oaf. But, I mean, that's typically chief on that show. More so... I don't know, kind of. I don't know. It's bad between him and I on that show specifically. But... The Shrek thing turned into something awesome, I would say, for this office. Sure, I'm not saying that, but I'm so just saying. So should I not have said anything in the and midst, just let it die? In the midst, it, you know, it went super bad, hangover, old school, wedding crasher, Shrek. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Naturally, there's humor in that. Yeah. yeah. Of course. My, my thing is when you do things like this and get robbed, do you do this on purpose? Did you pick Shrek on purpose because you knew what would ensue? So or did you? It, or do you really think that's your, so your favorite don't comedy? tell the truth, Dave. I'm tell gonna, the truth. Tell the, tell the truth. I 100%. If, I was drafting it not necessarily what was funniest. I thought was, I was drafting the funniest comedy, if that makes sense. So no, well, if you look so on Netflix, all, no, no, I'm not going to let that slide. What? I'm, I wasn't drafting on what was like. So obviously, Hangover, Forty uh, Year Old Virgin, all those are cut from the exact same cloth. Shrek's a comedy. It's an animated comedy, probably the best of that time, maybe of all time, and that's what I drafted. I swear to God, that's it. And I will take to the grave that that was a completely adequate selection. I think the issue is every sentence said to you, you take as a slight. Yeah, you're, every, you're an offended man. You're an offended man. I everything make fun is of myself. I you as do much do that, but you anybody. do you do this as well. Like I, what like happened? Right now, like you always like, saw you for the first time on this trip, Dave. You walk into the hotel. I mean, and I said, "Let's go get a beer." You, what did you say to me, Dave? I was like, is this a bit? You said, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I didn't say what the yes. fuck. Yes. I, I, that's how I approach you every single time I see you. I've gone out with you multiple times on a social and level. Has, you, and every time you react the same way and it gets a laugh and it starts our next few days when we're together. That's why I do it. I don't think you're trying to sabotage me every time I see you. Yes, you do. No, I... Do you honestly think I do? Yeah, kind of. I, I swear to God, I don't. Right now. now I'm getting offended. Oh, this is happening right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're you're, you're proving your then, point. I'm offended that you thought that I was just being an asshole like that. It was just me fucking around. You, but like, you're, the thing is, I, I even made every, the comment. I'm like, everything needs. I a even statement. made the comment. I'm like, what? You got roofies or something? When we walked up there, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, I know it's a joke. Yeah, you said that loudly. <laughs> well, it was a joke. That was the joke. I mean, how do you not take it as such? Of course, I, I, I took... Like, you want to get a drink? Of course. Let's go get a fucking drink. Let's let's ride. You you never trust I'm offended. me. You are offended. I and you're, then me. you're going to address this. You're going to address that. You're going to put a statement out. You're going to do a video. You're going to do a tweet. I might address me not addressing You addressed anything. me telling you not to address. I, you I'm, looked at the camera and you said, I, 
I, I'm, you made a statement. You said, I will do it now. I'm not going to address and anything. And I'm going to make a video on how I'm no longer addressing anything. You will. Yeah. Yes. Do you like believe a long one. Do you and I'm going to be... stick with that, Nick? No, it'll, no. Be, the, the, it'll be, be tomorrow. There's only a few things that really fucking get to me. One of them is when people tell me you don't know baseball. Because that's a fuck. That's like just false. <laughs> This is you showing the, this. this is you showing the crown of your head all over yeah. again. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah. I know. Mar but Marty we're in the trust out. tree here. Marty, not the smartest guy, who walks out. So, what do you think they're going to do now? So yeah. Continue. Exactly. Continue. Exactly. All right, what else? So what else? So now I know it's. Yeah. What else really gets to you? Now I know it's a joke. Um. Honestly, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Just, wait, the only baseball. thing that gets to you is if they say you don't know baseball. Pretty much. It's the only time. <laughs> that, that's, that's the only thing in the world that like actually gets me. I'll like I'll go back and forth with those people. What about like your dog is ugly? I mean that shit's a lie. Like, I don't know. Look at the numbers. That. When he you put up a that. poll, the, the mm -hmm. it looks like he doesn't think that though. I know that. Is Ace ugly? No, I don't think no. so. It's not a pot dog. No, by no means. A pot dog. What's that? A hot dog. Oh, a hot dog. Yeah, that's you don't have like a good looking dog. dog. I did get him high once by mistake, kind of. You ever hear that story? No. He broke into some three chi that I Jesus. didn't know I had even, and he had to spend an overnighter at the emergency vet. He was really fucked up. Been there, yeah. yeah. Kyle, the exact <laughs> actually, same thing. Happened. Happened. I, I, exact but same I thing didn't know he got into it, so I thought he was having a stroke or something. So I was freaking the fuck out, and they dropped him off. They're like, "Yeah, he's high as balls." Ugly dog. Oh, tweet no. your own. He is in the eye of the beholder. I've never seen him. No. Wallpaper. It's, I think it's his wallpaper. It is. Can you pull up a picture? Yeah, can you show him a picture? That would be. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. I'll take that. Um, so uh, that's what address gate. Address, address gate. gate. Yeah. So gate. I'm gonna come out with a grand announcement. I'm not gonna address it, but I'm no longer gonna be addressing anything. Right. But like this whole th like when you showed your hair, mm -hmm. you took off your hat. You went really close to the camera. But do you, do you love opening the door to criticism? Here's the thing about that. And I was going to say this originally. I got a haircut like an hour earlier and I thought it'd look a lot better. Because <laughs> oh, no. when I look in the mirror from the front, I'm like, that looks pretty good. Yeah. So I thought I would. Angles. And then I saw the angle and I was like, yeah, I should have done that before. But pick, I didn't see it until it was like, yeah. it wasn't my video. So it's not like I could go and delete it and act like it never existed. So we we've, we've had many debates here at this office and I want you guys to weigh in. That uh, we've said White Sox Dave is an argument guy. Like he's constantly looking to argue. Mm. Yes. He yeah. says that's not true. Oh, but he argues yeah. back. Yeah. He argues yeah. when you say that. And he, and he, and he says it with uh, fervor or anger in his, that's, in his tone. I disagree, but you can continue on to <laughs> You're the next trying point. so hard to be level headed. And, <laughs> Look uh, how hard he's gripping yeah, the arm. You want to share? Yeah, you want to share? This is how I sit. <laughs> that is how you sit. Let's when I'm angled this way, yeah. That, <laughs> Should uh, I change it for you? No, I'm going to change it for you. No, you you are the argument guy. Mm -hmm. You're trying to and that's your thing. Face me into arguing with I'm you. I'm not right at now. all. I'm telling I, you. I'm telling you. You what are the argument myself. guy, and you should you should lean into that and play I, it up for shtick. I defend myself. I don't argue. <laughs> but you you always think you're being attacked. No, you would, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I just address that. <laughs> you're obsessed with defending. I just you're addicted address to defending to yourself. Nick, even though I'm done addressing things, I just addressed to him that, like that's that's that shtick. I don't think Nick, when there's no cameras around or anything, and he says, "Hey, let's go get a beer at the bar." I don't think that he's like trying to sabotage me. Yeah. I wish I wouldn't have addressed it because I thought it was a funny kind of traditional introduction when we see each other. If you don't want me to do it, I won't do it. You want to argue with me so badly right now. Not just argue. This is, with this is my defense to yeah. you. You thinking that about me? Yeah. I think we're all entitled to. So if you're like a defense, if you're not the argument guy, what are you? What's your what's, your, what's I'm the glue guy. You're the glue guy. Yeah. I don't think so. I think Eddie's the glue guy. Eddie's mm. the glue guy. Ah, oh, fuck. Eddie is the glue guy. Yeah. Thanks, fellas. He mm. is the glue guy. Harry's the glue guy. Carl's the arguer. Carl loves an you, argument. Dave. So what do you, Harry? Have? Do you agree? What? That about what? I missed what you said. What was that? What is chief? The brains? Uh, he's an argument guy. Oh yeah. Then what are you? I argue with people who are argue guys because they 
entice me into arguing just mm -hmm. like you guys are right now so about, he's here to argue against the argue guys yes okay. exactly mm -hmm. i just happen to be surrounded by all argument guys that i'm constantly arguing so and I'm the you're, you're not the not an argument guy you're, you're surrounded you're by just always yes. surrounded by argument yes. guys yeah. they're all lemmings uh -huh. i've talked about the internet about the lemmings a thousand times yes you nauseam. have now does it all make sense? But guess what? You get left off these drafts like lemmings. Not an argument. Lemmings. Guy. But if you didn't address it, do you think this would happen? They're lemmings. I got like I'd rather them right, hear it from right. me. But if they didn't see how much it got to you being left off the poll, it, and then you addressing it but, every single time, putting out a video, like, this is, this is, calling I don't them like lemmings. This question, do you though. think it would continue to happen? I don't like this question because with all due respect to that show, which is very popular and everything, I don't give a shit if I get left off a poll when we're ranking potato chips. <laughs> I'll yes, see you it. Do. I'll mm. see it, and I'll fuck around with the rest <laughs> yes, of the you internet. Do. You let the there Shrek is, thing break is, okay. you. No, I didn't. I, we spun that into the biggest pot. I retweet Shrek everything now. I've seen the movie one fucking time in my life. Al Pacino is a phone case of Shrek. Did you know that, Kyle? Yeah. He is a what? He is a phone case of Shrek. Like it's a Shrek themed phone case. No, it's case. like Shrek it's, is on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yes, technically. Not in, I don't even know what to envision. Yeah, well, yeah. just like this black case, but it's got Shrek on the shit back. On it. Yeah, yeah. It's a Shrek themed phone case. Yeah, you made it sound like he has Shrek on the the phone. He, d I'm sure he does. If he's yeah. got a Shrek phone case, he's probably got Shrek yeah. apps and whatnot. Wait, you were about to say one that you one like that actually did make you mad. Me and she, I, I don't even remember what it was about, but him and I were like actually going back and forth, like in real life pissed at each other for a day or two like fuck you that pick sucked like shit like that but I, I don't even remember what it was but that was one time it was like sincere if i get left off the pole like i look at it and i fuck around and act pissed off mm. because if i don't address it i think that doesn't yeah. help the growth of the show you're good at your job you're good at your job but that's very intentional but yes. like don't pretend to be blindsided you just oh no like the when <laughs> the shrek i was sincerely like flabbergasted that people were ripping on i in hindsight of course i understand the flow of the show, how it was going, that was not a good pick. But that doesn't mean I, if I said, yeah, that pick sucked, like, and didn't defend it to the death like I have, I think that does nothing. Mm -hmm. Nick, um, why like I said, I've seen the movie one time. He, so you guys talked earlier, and say potentially, you know, some things shake up, shake about, and you guys move here. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, why Tax Dave offered his place up? No, I text him. I first said, I was jokingly, I texted him, I said, yo, let's be roommates. And you said, how about you just let us live here on our own island? Fuck you. <laughs> That'd be nice, right, Ed? <laughs> Ed, be, be serious, Ed. Oh, uh, no. Ed? And, and, no. And I was like, okay, is I'm going to Is this the mindset? No, of this? Yeah. It's, uh -huh. it's not. Like, no, I don't. I, so the whole but reality the, show, day-to-day -day stuff, that's not me. But then you text me like the next day, and you're like, okay, let me, let me know if you need anything. And no, I said, if you, I said if let's you be actually, roommates. And you said no, it, but I could have so a room at your house for a thousand dollars a month. Which I I was a hundred percent. If you actually needed you a place, were. yeah, you said no to being roommates. I mean that I was more lending you a hand until you found your own place. If that, How, if you could needed I stay to for do six that, months, yeah, I don't care. I, I just a thousand dollars a month. Thousand dollars a month, and I would just have my we'll own room. Split utilities but, at two fifty a month. Or but whatever. no to being roommates. I would want you actively looking for your own place. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Once I'm in my house, I turn I turn off social media and everything. No, I do uh, not no. believe not that. Not during Sox dude. games. <laughs> no. But like during the winter. No, you don't. I, I don't. I'm looking at it, but I try to like stay out of arguments <laughs> and shit. Or I go insane. What are you trying to sell to us right now? Yeah, you, you go home, you chill on the couch, you don't look at social media. I, I, I try not to post on social media. And like entice arguments. You, I don't, like, you just I, try not to, but you do. I try to wind down a little bit from it. But you do. What? So what makes you think me living, me, me being your roommate will change that? I'm not on social no, media. No, I, I want mm -hmm. to so Dave, be alone. Would you say out of your 129.8 thousand tweets, <laughs> how many were done at home and how many were in an office setting? When I, oh, in the office, I would tweet all fucking hours of the day. Okay. Like every two minutes when I worked in my old job. So most of your tweets are from your old job before you're working in social when media. I, well, now I'm older too. I've been with Barcel for ten years. July 2012. It says you can look again, Ed. Um, Damn. I was tweeting a lot when I was younger. Now I try to. Have you? You guys know the cesspool that is fucking Twitter. Yeah. You need an escape from it here and there. Like eight o'clock onward, I try not to try not to post often. During Sox games, it's different though, because I'll bitch about them. Yeah. Or anybody that says you don't know baseball. 
that. You said the well, one that thing that got you the most mad. That's the only thing that makes me like I'll go to war about that. You, because I know baseball at least a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you think if Kyle wanted to, he could learn as much as you know about baseball? Yeah, just hang around me. You're moving <laughs> to Chicago, right? Yeah. Like I, I learn stuff watching. I can't learn anything if I watch a hockey game alone. But if I watch one chief, I learn stuff. What if I told you Kyle knows more about baseball than you right now? I'd be fucking pissed. I think oh. I do. You, you got that weird brain. But if <laughs> if I can admit it though, like I'll I'll admit it. Okay. Have you guys verbalized that? Is that okay to say that's your? Well, we have. I, I have given them that's one. Fine. I mean, yeah. I think we can. I think we can safely say that it's a great chance. A yeah, great yeah, chance. a so great, great, great chance. But I'll know when it's like coming from this show, or if I say something about the White Sox and someone so, responds like, "You don't know what the fuck you're talking about." Then I didn't know you guys had uh, qualms with us coming. Oh no, I don't. Yeah, I, I think I think his qualm is that he. Well, number one, a reality setting. That makes more arguments for this guy. They skyrocket. That's what your issue is? I think it's But a why? What makes you think it's going to be reality? Yeah, what, do you, what, what do you mean reality no, setting? We're never in stool scenes. Yeah, well, I guess yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drama. I, no, 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 I'm, I'm never in an intermixed No, it's drama. more I hate change. Like, we're we're doing well out here. Not that we wouldn't do Okay, so you have awesome. There's You have No, qualms. I'm not going to say a word I know, I get it. I get it. I, you got, the yak. Come on board, but if it turns into like we're working in the New York sized office, then no, you like yeah. I, there's an appeal and a charm, to right? It. Exactly. The small amount of people in here yeah. is it's. Do you awesome enjoy for the us, size of New York office? No, no. no. Um, that's I mean, exactly what my. Well, no, I'm is, glad yes. it's the size. I don't want. I don't wish it was smaller in size. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh -huh. no, there is. It's too uh, scattered. So you would be like you would enjoy. I would love it here. You would like a thirty. And I would love you guys here to be clear. Very much so. Yeah, I mean. You're a homeowner. Mm -hmm. Can't do that in New York. But you said you had Pretty a garage deck. <laughs> I do. You don't have a garage. It's a... It's a carport. I've never... Have you ever yeah, heard of a, a carport? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I, like I've never heard over, them right? use that term. I'm sure I will open myself up to plenty of criticism. That is probably deserved. Just one of those words I've never used, heard used in that manner. But yes, I got a carport deck. What um I want to throw keggers on it all fucking summer. Is that what makes it more attractive? Just the fact that you could work in a smaller office, or what's your what's your main thing? We can't afford to live in Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. at all, mm -hmm. like barely. I, I would have to live in Jersey. Yeah, yeah. and of course, I think we all. Yeah, would. yeah, yeah. Erica. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, okay, so that's just the main thing. It's just cheap. No, no, possible, I like then. you guys. I uh, we have no ties to New York. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. true for but you a guys. closer mm -hmm. ride home to West Virginia. I don't know how often you guys go home, though. Uh, my my parents live well. in New York City now. Oh, yeah. do they really? <laughs> that's the weirdest fucking thing. Yeah, 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 they do. Really? I did not know that. Yeah. That in is, Manhattan or no? Yeah. To live there really? by choice is just, to me, that doesn't make sense to me. Well, it's a, it's a work thing for my dad. Okay, right. it is. All right. Yeah. All right. And uh, Kyle, for you too or no? For me, no, I'm, my parents moved to North Carolina, so I'd fly either way. Oh, either way. So oh, it's, a, uh, that's, it's not no change. Okay. That's a good scenario then. No, it'll be great. Yeah, it'll be great. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it'll. I'll, I'll I think it will be in a week or whatever. Yeah, but it will be like. I mean, very it's so weird. far in the future. I mean. Yeah, like I mean, but hypoth. I mean, well, you wouldn't leave early, but you guys could leave early if you wanted to. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, that is interesting to think about. Yeah. That's true too. When's your lease up? Kyle's ended like yesterday. He's Mine's going home to yeah. nowhere. <laughs> He's going home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. tough. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been freaking out about that Kyle, a little bit. Kyle, you're homeless I, right no, now? No, I haven't been freaking out enough. I need you to start <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> yeah, he does not have a home to go back to. Really? Yeah. Wow. You're homeless right now. I have a second bedroom. If you need a place to stay, 1000 bucks a month. Get out here early? You can get out here whenever you want. That'd be that'd be interesting. Get rid of the dog. No, I'd have a little babysitter yeah. in my hand. Even better. Free up some space. <laughs> what do you mean? Can get rid of the dog, free up some space. All right, well, you're insinuating <laughs> that's that what I, meant. I would pick you over my dog. No, Absolutely, I wasn't not. that. I wouldn't live with you. What about what about the trickle down from KB? Mm. No, and he you, comes home, bitches akimbo. Yeah, mm. trickle down would be that'd be a nice little bonus, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You ever get KB trickle down? 
only exclusively mm -hmm. oh it's it's reaganomics mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> it's reaganomics good book and a little documentary well you've never heard of a carport before sorry i swear to god that. i've never heard that i swear to god and really? if the internet wants to make fun of me go ahead as soon as you said that no everybody it's not did. like that it's not it's not make funnable yeah. dave you've okay. been you've been level you've been good you've been a straight shooter this episode i think so i don't think you're opening I, I try up to be here and there yeah do you feel like you don't think he's opened up enough? Is that what you're gonna say? I don't think he did. I think he's no. looked he's looked all right throughout this. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, let's take a quick break here because I got to talk about Upstart here. Upstart, uh, you guys know the drill by now. Saying goodbye to high interest credit card debt is one of the first steps toward financial independence. But the interest month after month can feel like you're in a never ending hamster wheel. That's where Upstart comes in. Upstart powered personal loans can help you pay down high interest debt all online with simple and easy to understand payment terms. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, Upstart can help you get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Upstart knows you're more than just your credit score, so rather than looking at your credit score alone, Upstart's model considers other factors like your income, employment, and other information provided in your loan application to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You can even receive the funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan, which is great if you need your money in a GIF, in a, in a, in a, in a quick, I don't know why I said GIF, I haven't heard that in a while, but if you need a quick, it's there for you. So don't wait and check your rate today at upstart.com slash Eddie. That's upstart.com slash Eddie, E-D-D-I-E, to uh, check your rate today. Don't forget to use our URL because it lets them know that we sent you. One more time, loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash Eddie. Start being smarter about your debt today. All right, let's hop back into the episode. How do you guys make it work on uh, Rediscovering America? Is there this much? I think uh, we've done pretty good together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're meeting uh, Dave out I, in Putin that, Bay. Yeah. Uh, we're I hosting a twerk competition. About, I, I want to call it Putin Bay. It's Putin Bay, right? Like Putin, 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 yeah, Putin. Hyphen Putin. I. Am. You're gonna, you, you might move there. I've never been. Ed has you told are gonna me love it. Yes, many times that it is my heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just white trash heaven. What, my the whitest people. of trash. Yes. Toledo trash. Yes. Detroit Youngstown. trash. Youngstown trash. Youngstown Cleveland trash. trash. Oh. And that's <laughs> bachelorette parties I galore. Wait. I cannot wait. A lot of older women, single women. I, I like hearing that. I um, like hearing that. And then it's staffed completely by like probably underage Eastern European women. Yeah. Moldovan I, I will, serfs. Now that mm -hmm. you say that, I will make sure. And they live. They all live in like barracks. Like dormitory yeah, barracks. Bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to brush up on your Russian? I do kind of live close to Ukrainian village. They speak Russian a lot there. I can there do you that. go. Wait, you've been, Nick? Putting back? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It was close enough Ed to go. Ed goes unironically. I don't know about that. It sounds awesome. You don't think I've ever been there? No. I just don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I never went with you. So we're we're going because KB went um, when he first got hired at Barstool for a vacation. No? The, for a little trip. Yeah. You went with your friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, somebody at a bar recognized you in a crowd. And they asked you to host a twerk competition. Correct. Yeah, no, they actually wrong. DM'd me a day in advance. Okay. And I was like, yeah. And you said, yeah, you'd do it. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? Uh, my style of humor didn't translate to the crowd. And <laughs> what was, kind of crowd was it? I was booed off stage. <laughs> <laughs> it, was just, it was truly a terrible feeling. It's easy to laugh about now. but You were booed off stage at a Putin Bay twerk competition. Yeah. What kind of jokes did you have? I think I was just trying to do crowd work. I was trying to just roast like different geographic <laughs> regions of the area and like talking about how like um, there, I was like doing like opioid epidemic jokes, incest jokes, yeah. poverty jokes, and just got they just got booed. Didn't work. It was I was blacked out. It, was, it wasn't funny. I was just being mean. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it sounds and they just like. But that, me see, off. like if I were in the crowd, I would have enjoyed that. Just so you know. That's my style. I, I love when, like, I think that should be Below comedy. The belt. Just being mean. Are you Below a, the belt is great. Are you an angry drunk? No. 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 You're angry all the time. I'm, I'm an angry person. A person, yeah. got you. But, um. I'm either irate or, like, just completely apathetic. He was screaming on his phone in Nashville, uh, 
to an automated uh, Wells Fargo robot. Was, that's I very had, warranted, though. They, yeah. Yeah. I think you're on my, I, Oh, yeah. Nothing sets me off more. Those, and they I was go. Scre- I stopped even like screaming what I was supposed to say, like, yes, no. My voice I, is my password. I, I just started, immediately screamed Because in the back of my head, there is a, a 1% oh, yeah, yeah. chance that somebody is listening. Yes. yes so I'm, I just want to yes. let them hear it. See, I want we're to on let the same him page, KB. So I'm flipping out. It, but as I have soon as they start, in. I'm screaming representative like like Jerry <laughs> yeah, Maguire. I'm screaming. The, I don't care if it sounds like mumbled. I'm just going to keep screaming. And then when you're on hold and it tells you a thousand times while you're on hold, we're sorry for the delay. Well, the worst the is when you have voice when you robotic. call with a specific issue and they give you a list of four options, none of them, none of which are your issue. Awful. And you awful, and then they say like, uh, or you have to say more, and then you have to like try to tell them what you want. They guess incorrectly. <laughs> so at the end of the day, <laughs> you and Dave really aren't that different. They're, You're both angry. A lot in common. You're both we angry, do. but you don't argue. We both are. He just bottles Extremely it up, it angry. Like. We're both like. Obscure you, college you, athletes, you D3, me wrestling. <laughs> so we have this inferiority complex that we don't get the respect we deserve. We're both short. We get made fun of for our height. We get reduced as goofballs and all this. I am in a much better uh, position than you, though, yeah. <laughs> when it comes to that. I would say, yes, you, you are. But I get more leeway. To go back to uh, kind of... Because pe- I, when off. I get mad, people just think it's a joke. When you get mad, they even when you are joking, they... They think it's a uh, you're just. That's mad. nice. That's a nice perk yeah. for you. You got. Yeah, I have a, we have a lot of. Yeah, we have this very strange leeway of, um, like our first video we ever put out. It looked like like Vaseline was smeared on the lens. We just fucked up. We didn't focus the camera, and like the first comment we ever got was like, "I love how they do this." <laughs> like, Fuck yeah, and it's just like this weird. It's an odd thing. Um, are you guys like like? Are you comfortable with that? Like knowing that there's a, there's an element where people are like, hey, we're just going to go with it. These guys didn't know what they're doing. Yeah, I think we've tested that before where we just like, <laughs> let's just do non-jokes and see if people like think it's funny. Yeah. Seriously. And it's, it's made a very small but loyal, will never be popular, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's made a very small. You got small, like a little cult following. But, yeah. But that's one thing that I've, I, I've always thought about here. Like are you, and, and we talked about Arrested Development earlier. Yeah. Are you guys okay being like, hey, our critical reception is skyrocket, but we're just not that well known yet. We're not yeah, popular. like we average selling like four t-shirts. You guys are like, no, it's, that's for the best for my I mental Y K and Y guys. Wait, that, hold, I say on, that? hold on, we'll go. Wait, 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 so what? what is it? What's best for my mental health? That, the first, the pre, not the latter. Okay, so as long as you could know like people like, all right, they do a good job. But mm-hmm. hey, they're just not as because whenever as we do be. do something more mainstream, I always end up just getting angrier. <laughs> like the case race is our most viewed yak, and it got a, like a bunch of new audience, uh, non yak listeners. So that's when I'm at my irate, my most irate is when they start dissing me for drinking beers poorly. Mm. Like yeah. our people that like us would never, they yeah. wouldn't care about that. Yeah, okay. no, I feel you though. There's something about being able to sleep at night and I'm like, hey, I thought it was good. And I, people, a lot of people liked it, but hey, a lot of people just didn't watch yeah. it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. if you got that's still yes. batting a thousand. Well, no, no, I don't know what that metaphor is. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, it just unless it <laughs> you guy doesn't know fucking baseball. You don't know like baseball. <laughs> no, I mean, you didn't. You're you're a you're a I don't want to say a super sub. Like okay. A good utility guy. No, it's like you guys. Well, I don't yeah, want to mean like it's that. Like you're, it's like someone who only went two for two and then got injured. But I. Is that there's yeah 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 then they miss the rest of the season <laughs> exactly Ben thousand yeah 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 but, but no. I like that sack fly I like that space to be in I, because I a lot of people you. that we work with go fucking crazy mm-hmm. they lose their minds big time yeah now now does I look it, forward to working hold on yeah. yeah does it does it sorry I think we're getting to something here I'm just really interested these guys don't really do this I just want to really dig in here oh, That's okay yeah yeah you're good at what you do thank you. Um, Yes. Does it bother you when people that like maybe they get the more popular that you don't deserve so? No. 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 I no. like the space a lot. Really? Not yeah. even being in a situation where it's like you think that their product is garbage, but they're blown up. And it, it, like, it, but the thing is uh, that they get a ton of viewers like we're in the wrong. Like mm-hmm. if 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 who are we to say if it's garbage, if it, it gets 10 times the views, we're wrong. At, um, so... 
Are you though? I don't know. Isn't it like 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 a big thing? I don't. Do you guys follow stand up much? Or, yeah. Or no? Yeah. Like uh, like a comedian's comedian. Yes. Yeah. Like Ari Shafir is always bitching okay. at these guys who take these fucking uh, whatever the the shows the the reality shows and are doing like big like TV things because he's like that's a sellout to a real comedian. Nah, who cares fuck about that. And if you can I sell out, do it. Um, so John Prine, do you guys know who John Prine is? I don't. He's a he was like a country western artist. He was known as every favorite favorite everybody every musician's favorite musician. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So like that. Yeah. Yeah. Good example. But do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, Are I you? completely get what you're saying. I don't I don't hold any animosity towards that. No. No, because like I wouldn't it's not like they're taking it like an idea I had. I wouldn't be doing that. As soon as you if you do if you do comedy and as soon as you treat it competitively and get bitter about it then that's not that's unfunny yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i think you're not then you're you shouldn't do comedy that's any true. comedian that treats it like a real high yeah, art form i think either. a lot of them do that's yeah weird. yeah and it's it's a very clicky and competitive like a lot of comedians are bitter about bitter, like little so sass bitter. about like selling yeah. out shows it's a little yeah. sass oh, selling you out never shows. Went through the grind he didn't go through the grind so they're trying to they're doing all this to get to his level on the internet that's what they want mm-hmm no, you're right. It's funny how what, what we have dynamic. they want, but then kind of opposite. Some, yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. He wants what they want. They want yes, what he wants. Exactly. Right. His, his end goal is what they have and their end goal Correct. is what he has. It's very bizarre. It is. Hey, let's take another break here because I want to talk about Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Um, tis the season. Tis the season. Tis the season. Been saying it all week. Um, at this point, if you're on the side of the road because your car uh, maybe ran out of oil, which I hope is not the case, because that means that thing is not running again. Um, if you're, at the, or you know, something happened with your brakes or whatever, God forbid. All right, God forbid. I'm saying worst case scenario, people, just don't get in that situation in the first place, though, because you, if you go to your uh, Chicagoland Chevy dealers at ChevyDriveChicago.com, you will be able to see that um, they have these dealerships that could uh, tune up your car, get that car running just right, so you never have to worry about that kind of thing. So uh, it's the perfect time to make sure everything's running right. Get all your service needs at your Chevy dealer today, and it's also time to see if you uh, want that brand new ride, okay? Go to ChevyDriveChicago.com to find your local dealer and place an order for your brand new custom Chevy today. Uh, tons of great options, the Blazer, the Malibu, the Camaro, whatever you want, Chevy has it, classic cars, you guys know the drill. Go grab a Chevy. Okay, let's hop back into the episode. So you, so there is, you guys are completely at peace with being like, hey, I could have that Manhattan apartment if I... I don't think mm. I could. But... I but, try pretty. I try real hard. But let's not. But let's not bullshit though. You guys obviously have a high humor level, and you guys know that. Okay. Yeah. yeah thank you. Uh -huh. and, and, and it's just that's just that's just facts. And um, I don't know. You, so you don't think there's any element to, like, if you change this or that, but then you, you wouldn't be the same person, I guess. I think in in as of late, um, from internal at Barstool, they've been pushing us a little bit more. I would say so too. Um, which is good. Yeah, it's good. It's a compliment, but I don't. I don't know. I like the audience we have. I don't want to speak for you. Yeah, and as soon as you start getting competitive about popularity, that it's it's easy to detect, and it's a bad look. Mm -hmm. It's just because you don't have to. It's not uh, sports. We're not competing against each other. Yeah, you're saying within Barcelona or just within if, the comedy anything. Realm yeah, because there's a lot of comedy podcasts. There's yeah. more. There's more podcasts than fucking listeners. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, it's just like I'm content with what we're doing. I like it, and um, I'm proud. Like I, we put out stuff that I'm proud of. So there's no real gripe you have. No, with 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 pretty much anything. There are some people that I think are just shitty people that are popular. Yeah. Okay. But I don't. I don't. I don't hold any grudges. Like if I, there are some people that are big on the internet, and if I put out that same video, I'd be embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. But uh, when I was big into Twitter, that's why I kind of stopped. That's that was my life. I was doing that. Yeah. I was yeah, constantly. Yeah. It was all comparing, like your the amount of like attention you get on Twitter to other people, and that's where you place the value. And then I turned bitter, so I stopped. Yeah, because it, it is it's a volume contest. Twitter. It really is. Yeah. And like that's like you throw out a million videos, you're just gonna keep growing and following and following, and it's like damn. No, I, I think Twitter is not. Really? Compared to the other ones, you really you don't think Twitter? So? You, it, it's it's very hard. It wasn't volume. We you have to like get a lot of like gas go would viral. Say otherwise, though, Twitter we had to Chuck go viral. Mazo. Nick got a hundred thousand followers. 
tweeting he only tweeted like once a month i did yeah but yeah. Yeah. they would go very viral that's how you gain followers i had my thousandth tweet like five months into barstool like i, I don't know. tweet very often at all wow and then now i don't at all because it's odd like why would I tweet out a joke if I could say it on a show? Mm -hmm. I agree with that. So it's just like, what am I? What do I have this for? So I just. But then again, shit gets buried, though. Yeah, right? like that's a, that's a big problem too. Where it's like yeah. you said something really funny there, and it would probably have more visibility in front. We of have it. different styles of posting, like we in content, like we just want at most of what we put out to be like a, a, a home jokes, run. a lot of no, just a lot of jokes filled with jokes. You guys are more interactive with your fan base oh yeah yeah, yeah each other sure. which is yeah. a better tactic i don't think so but do you respect I think that? I, yeah i respect that i just could, i personally couldn't do that you yeah do that. yeah it's different it's not my style yeah just because I, I think you don't I like to do i don't I, I appreciate like consuming it but i couldn't do it just because you don't like interacting with people it's not that i don't like it it's more exhausting for me yeah and okay. it takes like the fun away. that's exactly what i was getting at earlier when i said i it, it gets exhausting so i can never be yeah. like a sports like a you have to watch every game and, yeah. and tweet about everything that happens. Mm -hmm. We live interact in this, with the fans, and uh, that just would seem like a second job. I, I love working at Barstool, but part, like though. it seems like that a lot of people are take crazy for everything yeah, you people, have to have uh, a take. Yeah. But it's like, but uh, like there's things I don't know about. I don't, I don't. I don't and it, I and, and it has to be that. an extreme take. It, yeah, like, can't, this it is can't. the best. This is the worst. Yeah, that, that bugs the fuck out of me. Yeah, that bug every mm -hmm. time. It's like we're in a take epidemic. Yes, yeah. I'll sit there like after a Bears game, and I'm like, I you know what? Them. I just don't have anything to say. Yeah, about like the halftime show was all right. It wasn't. You don't have to have that. You have to be an extremist or an absolutist yeah. about it. But like that's the worst. Like when you got a lot of when you got to let someone know you're watching the game. Yeah, and it's like, oh, I'm just going to yeah. tweet this. Yeah, like in and out's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like and like, listen, I fall into it all the time. I'm not. I'm in not and out, saying. But tweeting in and out good is never in and out. Yeah, good you're is right. never going to go viral. No, you have to be extreme, and uh, it's it's odd. Yeah, it's a weird space. Mm -hmm. it yeah, is so you just have to tweet very like, weird space. It's the biggest piece of shit ever. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I, but it is nice that you guys are at a point now where it seems like they respect that. Like you guys didn't tweet much about the uh, the bracket busters or whatever. Oh, hell yeah, we did. For you guys. Oh, you did, yes. yes. On a scale for but you like, guys. Yeah. But yes. then like look at like how many likes it got, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you, if you want to compare it to like the amount of likes that our few tweets got, because we don't tweet a lot, you know, it was, I think it's comparable to like spamming a timeline with tweets. Yeah. No, yeah, you're. you're I, I could definitely see that, um, man. This is pretty. interesting. We get in trouble for not promoting our own stuff a little bit. Though. That I was gonna ask that. Yeah, because yeah, even we. Well, get and in I hate when we. I hate when people. Pretty good people jump to be like, we, we, we're the guys who don't care. That's, like we're, that's, we're not. We're no, too. No, no, cool, no. We're too cool or good. Do you? Do you? Do you care about your job? Yeah, yes. more than anything. Oh, I love yeah. my job. Uh huh. Yeah. So you guys. So you guys do. And care. I don't want people to think like the too cool for bar store or anything. I, yeah. I love working here. Okay. Yeah, it's the best job ever. <laughs> it, it really is. <laughs> I said not See, joking. This is another. That's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. that's where the flaw. That's where the cons of. This is. I can't even say a real opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Without being I, laughed. That, at. I did think you smirked at me a little. But, well, it, but 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 I think you know what you're doing. Yeah, but you're yeah, right. Yeah. Though. I get because we point. acknowledge, it really we acknowledge yes, how yes, unhealthy yes. it is for us. Yes, but it's still the best job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that annoys you when people like. You no, can't I be ask serious. for it. No, I don't care. Yeah. But at the same time, like I feel like you're you're a guy who always, in a sense, has to be on. Do you feel that way? It's harder because I could never go on a podcast and just like talk about real opinions or yeah, like yeah, what's yeah. going on yes. in the world. They would expect me to do this, to do jokes. So that is harder. Yeah, I would say so. Because everything you say, it's like, oh, there's, what's the next level to this? There's yeah. gotta mm. be, there's a hook here coming in. Yeah. I I, I, don't, got, I don't want it to be like we're putting, like uh, it's not like some high art no, form no, by any it's means. No, it's not. It's just our style I, is, no, it makes you guys are wrong there. No, because it, the second you make it that, it's not no, funny it's anymore. Not. No, I, 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 I agree with both that too as well, but I think what you you two do is like hardly anybody on the planet could do that. Well, no, you're. I, I don't think Especially so. Especially at this company, I think you two are not like Dan's. Obviously, a superstar. I don't think Dan could do that. No, it's, we're we're trying. Like we're we'll like analyze what everyone says and try to make a a, jo a exactly. wordplay joke where other it's, people just takes, have normal conversations. I don't know if it's it just talent. takes effort. Mental. It effort. just takes effort. Yeah, yeah. it just it makes just our longer. lives harder. Well, I, I don't know. And listen, you guys. Actually, like, I, that's honestly why I respect you guys more because you, you guys are 
You're selling yourself short, big time. You but are. I, I That's what I know. Yes. But I don't. Tell I don't me. want it to ever come across like uh, it's anything fucking highbrow that we're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Exactly. You think like people are gonna? Th you're gonna think lower on people. Yeah, yeah, that's not the case at all. It's no. just I. I like making things that I think are funny and that's just how we do it. And dude, that's good to know too because a lot of people get that perception. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. But would, so you've gotten that before. Yes. Like where it's like, oh, KB and Nick, they're like, they think they're the geniuses. Not so, at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I look at the stuff SAS is doing. I'll look at like, you being a moron, I'm like, why can't I, why, why, you know, I'll look at Caleb Rohn. I just, like, the, I, those guys are, it's all, they're different styles and it's the yeah. same amount of effort, just different. And you genuinely think though, there's no level of this, job success this job of comedy that you're like oh that's just uh, unless if it's just a take culture like you said Wait, what are you asking like there's nothing that really you're like ah oh, that's that's kind of lame or that's, that's I mean not. if it works and the majority of people oh, like it yeah, now that used to be the that used to be like my entire like shtick on Twitter is when I was a hater I was always mad at like these like these vine kids these tiktok kids yeah, yeah, these yeah. other tweeters that are blowing up mm -hmm. and I'm not so I, yeah, that was my affliction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've that was I'm yeah. You've gotten past that or what? Yeah, your, well, I mean, yeah. Who, who's Kyle not, to say what's better? Exactly. Yeah, because it's doing what what they're doing is doing significantly better, and they're very rich and popular. Mm -hmm. They're beating us by every single measure. It's a and mind. Then fuck. We can't say it's ba we can't say it's bad. Does it ever mind fuck you? Um, I don't think I I don't. Th there's some things been mind fuck. <laughs> oh my god um there are some things that i look at and i just don't get yeah yeah but like i think that just might be like this is like i'm about to be 30 and i'm i've noticed like the younger there are some things that i just can't connect to anymore yeah mm -hmm. like high school Damn, age like early yeah yeah and it's just i don't get it anymore um i don't get why it's popular but i yeah. you know it is mm -hmm. but that's a great way to succeed here is you just gotta be you gotta play to your strengths and you gotta be you for sure and i know that's fucking like that sounds lame to say but it's true the minute you start being like, you know, whatever, like if you started doing selfie videos, yeah, like people yeah. would be like, what the fuck? That's is not it? Nick. Is he like, okay. They were pushing TikTok for a while and they made us either. like, uh, do like recap some of our older stuff we did. And then they were like, okay, you got to like put the, the voice, you know, on TikTok, they have like the text to speech and like yeah. point at it. And we just got lampooned. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Yeah. And it comes across like we're, we're too cool for that or above some of that stuff. But it's just like we would just look stupid doing it. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. It's not I, like we're against other people doing it. Just we can't do for something. For your style. Yeah. So what you yeah. like for yeah. sure. Um, I actually told Erica, she asked me and she's like, I, don't, I was like, I don't have a TikTok. And she was like, like, oh, really? She was like shocked. And I was like, hey, I'll just be honest. Like, I don't, I think it's going to consume so much of my time that I could be putting in other spots mm -hmm. of this job that I don't think it's really worth it for me. And she accepted it. Yeah. She was like, yeah, okay. Because I just scroll, I don't know about you guys, I'll just scroll and scroll for fucking life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, exactly. It's addicting. Yeah, yeah. it is addicting. But like, uh, yeah, there are some like ventures that I have no interest. Do you guys like get your social report card for your podcast? Yeah, we, we used to get it more, but I know we get it. We were getting yeah. hella Someone D's and F's. Yeah. And we just have an F on Facebook. We're not making a Facebook page for anus. I just don't think that's our space, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, that, yeah, we're just not, that's one platform. We don't really use TikTok. I never use, I use Twitter and half-assed Instagram. Yeah. I mean, Kyle hasn't posted on Instagram since yeah, 2015. We were talking about this that's yesterday. the thing, and I'm, I don't want to be like, I'm too good for that either, because that's not the case. If I were posting every day or several times a day on TikTok, Instagram, I, I would probably be a lot bigger with a follow a bigger following, but I would hate my life. Yeah. No, I, I dude, I'm I get it, bro. Locked like, up that's you guys on that. Like, that's I, why I, I'm impressed by some of the guys at the company like KFC, KFC like he's wakes all, up, he makes just, content. Yeah, oh, he's he, just content, and content, yeah. content. It covers so many bases and, he, and it and he's like good and growing, blowing up. Yeah. And uh Big Cat too, non stop. Big Cat non stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh yeah, that's why they, they they deserve to yeah. get to blow up and make more money. Yeah, like, sure. I, I know, like, that's what my shit, like, whenever it's, like, a bear, you just yell into, like, you get mad, but I just, like, I'm, like, dude, I just don't want to portray that I'm always angry, and that's, like, uh, that, that's you what know? the bears mm -hmm. would make but, you but, seem like, yes. And that's, like, but that's what what's going to get followers. And yeah. Shit. I'm, like, I just, I don't know, it's not true to yourself, so I'm, like, I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah sometimes you have to be fake. Yeah. 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 I mean, dude, I think, I don't know, that'd be an interesting thing to find out who, what percentage of people are just like super fake about it. I mean, yeah, do you ever wanna skip watching a White Sox game? Are you obligated to watch every Sox game? That's real. He actually- I, I wouldn't, I- You would never, I, you would never- No, like, I honestly, 
it worked out well, but I thought that we were going to have to miss multiple White Sox Cubs games because of what we're doing in Chicago right now. So I would have sucked it up, but I right, miss but maybe like, eight games a year. Okay, but are you afraid when you're not watching those yes. games, like you're going to miss something? Yes. You feel like guilt. It yes. when I. I but go to that's maybe a personal. 20, that's not a work thing. No, that's a work thing. Oh, really? If I'm at, there was a time last year when, uh, or no, it was 2019, um, where I we I got lucky because we went to the bar afterwards and we ran into Dan. Mm -hmm. uh, he was home for something, and uh, there was a brawl in like a Tigers versus White Sox game, and mm -hmm. I was like, "Fuck!" Like I should be home blogging this. Yeah. So that is something when I go to the games, I'm like, I should probably be watching on the couch. Yeah. Chiefs the exact same way too. Yeah, and yeah. you are for the Bears. Yeah, yeah I would, know? I would, I would hate that to like. Yeah, let so me tell you, we don't do anything topical. Like Dan in two thousand, like, do we? Do we? Do we? Yeah, we've never no. any, we've yeah. done anything topical. My thing is, I don't, I don't. That's against, I don't watch. I don't consume can, enough to know. And other people are doing that, so I would just be subpar compared to them. Are you guys pretty locked up in like the way you guys go about like the anus content and everything like that? Like, are you? It guys, seems like it's like telepathic almost. Mm. You just naturally on the same page for it kind of um we're, we're around each other so much so we we just naturally flow into we know yeah, yeah, yeah. we know what jokes are coming from right which right. person like yeah. if anybody ever mentions the year 2001 somebody will take a step back kyle will make a 9-11 joke or and, we'll we, step and back, i'll, and and I'll know if nick mentions something i'll i'll say something and he'll say i'll know i'll like yeah, know what he's gonna him, say yeah. back and forth yeah. yeah that's crucial too man because you guys gotta really like like you, you need to like each other to fucking make that work. I think it's just <laughs> that, like, yeah, definitely. If we ever <laughs> fell off, it would, fell out. In, it would be pretty noticeable. Was, we wouldn't be able to do it. Right. It'd be very obvious. But know? I think it's it's also helpful that we're the same like outside of work as well. Like we're pre like pretty quiet. Like I don't need to. We're not texting or like yeah. Just kind of like we'll we'll go out and grab a beer and like say like four words to each other. Oh, that's, yeah. that's pretty nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe no, like is, a just a random pun. That is every weird. once in a while. Yeah. Damn, Tons that's interesting, man. That's that's fighting off that perception probably is annoying as fuck. Yeah, I don't want anybody to ever think that we're like we think we're better yeah. <laughs> because we're not. Uh -huh. um, it's just different. Uh, I'll make a quick confession. I'm going to address something that I don't need to address. All right. <laughs> like once a month, I'll go to Twitter and I'll be bored of doing whatever I'm doing, and I'll type in uh, "British lads" with your oh handle, yeah, and I'll just read the replies and have a 30 minute laugh with myself. Yeah, those so were the absolute that best tweets. Wasn't my work; it was all the replies. Yeah, all your were, crowds were you're fantastic. Crowd source. Yeah. It, it got it got beaten to the can ground. You, can you explain it? I, I actually don't know this one. You would ask. Yeah, I was, just, oh. I was oh. fascinated, but I, I like had a, I noticed I had a few British followers. I was just fascinated by their lingo, so I was I got trying one, to fish I DM for that. Them every day, and then it turned, and then I had legitimate British people who were giving me their crazy slang, and then it turned into like just white. Barstool fans trying to be British, then which got, made it the yeah. best part. It, I thought it, it was sometimes hilarious. it was funny when they nailed it, but it was obvious when they were just doing surface level yes, British yes, yes. stereotypes. I don't know. Well, all right, this is yeah. uh, this those, is pretty. Those interesting. were always great. I miss those. So feel free to bring send them one back. out. Yeah, send it out. Yeah, this is I mean, you haven't done one in a while. I don't think you'd be beaten into the ground or anything. No. You should do it tonight. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> He's not going to. <laughs> What's today? Tuesday. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Interesting stuff, guys. Yeah, I mean, man, you know, yeah. and like, listen, I, listen. There's not the case. Like, I, we've always got along, you know. Yeah, I think the, right, yeah, of course. I, know, I, was I do. Yeah, yeah, I look yeah. forward to. It. Yeah, I no, feel like, yeah. Every, I feel like every year. yeah, we get we got along really well from the get. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. And obviously, like our you know our lives here are obviously going to change, and there are probably some positive things, some not so positive. But like, it is what it is. Like, we're excited to have more people here. Yeah. Right? What's yeah. what's your what's your biggest hangup? I'm worried I'm about sorry to like, extend this. I think it will create a possibly create a divide, and I don't want to see. A public That's opinion the skewed like, one way or the yeah, other. Bro. I, don't, I, don't I think, think we've done so. a great job now in the Chicago my scene thing is, as a is, whole. My thing is, is here, it's like, it's a, we're, you know, at the company, we're known as the Barstool Chicago guys. Exactly. Like, now that we're just going to be away. the Barstool guys. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, the Barstool yeah, guys. And you That's, have the that's thing. my number one hang up. Ed just put it perfectly. We'll be the Barstool guys who work in Chicago with yeah. everybody else. Well, I want, your, I, think right. I want your show to be the exact same and the Yak to be the exact same. I, yeah. I That was my demand. I, that, I think that it If will you guys want to come here, I, I'll tell Dan but this But then too. in the we can collaborate. Collaborate more. I think it will just open up. Everything we do currently will be exactly the same. Yeah. And there will just be new things mm -hmm. and new no. platforms for mm -hmm. for everybody. Think yeah. of a uh, think of the content that us three could create on the daily. 
I know. Wow. I know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's how much you guys up. are going to promote it nonstop, all day, every <laughs> yeah. day. That's why I threw you guys in a room together. Um, yeah, no, but I think it'll be good overall. Like, we just, you know, new life and change of scenery is, is good. I think so. It's, it's good, good, but stuff. it's just, it's it gets, I don't want to say scary, but it's a little scary. Yeah. For you guys too, I'm sure. Yeah. Having a job like this, it's always like the the future is always scary. Oh, fuck yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm not getting a job in sports media after this company. I don't think you're, you're just going to get a job after this. <laughs> I would yeah, hope yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's how I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid <laughs> of that all the time. Because, like, we have people on the producing side that go get humongous oh, yeah, jobs exactly. yeah. with mm -hmm. ease after this. Yeah. If you Google me, there's, like, ten videos of me saying cunt on the first O <laughs> yep. of Google. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yep. on the first O. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and especially, like, I mean, was it... K KB's teasers, like you know, you, you guys didn't really shift. I know you had the Chaz A parlay, but you guys didn't. Well, really we didn't. Jeff just did that. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't really shift into the gambling sphere. I'm the best gambler at the company. He Nick I, is statistically he is, and I hate right. the fact that he. What is. are you two for two? Batting a thousand. Uh, I'm higher than that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I probably I would like other than the little hot streak I had since the Barcel Sportsbook has been live in Illinois, I would say that I'm in the bottom ten percentile in. <laughs> <laughs> and right for I, I don't think you can be good at gambling. No. <laughs> how, how do you internally I deal, don't know, with that, deal with what? Like, like, and sorry, no, I'm not the best gambler at the but, company. And no, I, but but if you're but but if you still have picks and you still are I, knowledgeable because you know sports. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that, too. Like, yeah. are you ever like, man? If do I, people know that publicly? Yeah, man. If okay, I did lean do, in, yeah. if I did lean into sports more, I probably would. I wouldn't have fun with that. But then he'd be yeah. leaning in. I think yeah. Nick likes sports. He likes to follow it, but he, he doesn't like it in the sense that he has to express a like an extreme opinion. I don't have opinions yeah. about everything. I just everything. I like watching football. Yeah, yeah. God, it's gonna be so easy to tell if you guys ever do sell out, though. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yes. holy You'll shit! Know. Yeah. You'll know. Oh, my God. But, hey, I actually, hey. I actually wanted. You, I want what? that to happen to see how funny that'll be. <laughs> it, 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 it would be, be great. really funny. It, it would be great, but there's got to be a number. What's the number? Because I would sell. There's a number for everybody. I don't even like the term selling out because that's just being smart. You're, yeah, it's, yeah. I, it shouldn't I be agree. used with a negative I, connotation, no. and people, yeah, the fans like to do that. Like I would sell out for if if. If you could, if if I could make the amount of money in the next five years to never work again after that, yeah, I would do fucking a lot of things. That's grass is always greener. I yes, think. I think there is. I think people. I would be off the fucking grid. I would be in Montana or something. So my, I don't think Big Cat will ever retire. Definitely, he loves think, it. I don't, oh, he yeah. doesn't do it much. for the money, even if he loves doing it. Mm -hmm. Dave, Dave, in to an extent too. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree. With I that. would be off the grid. My, no, you wouldn't. Because oh, you would yes, need to I be would. tweeting. You, you would, would need, need to be it. posting. No, I wouldn't. You would, no, yes, you you, would. I swear. I, 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 have talked about this many times. I would. I'd have Twitter and all that. That Barcel profile would be long. No, because the, your happiness, most of it comes from your job it's, and the work you put out and what you get from it. Absolutely. And, I, I like I, being I, quiet. That's I, like I, I don't if believe you. Need, if you, you if do not like being quiet. If Nick needed a place, I, I was like ninety nine percent joking. Or serious about this, one percent joking. If you needed a place, I don't want to see you in the place. You have your half the house, I have my half, and we're yeah. good. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm not gonna live with you, Dave. No, I know that. Okay. But like if push came to shove, no, you're like, I think you the I, offer would be on the table. Sure. I think you play off the uh you're a loner kind of guy. I think there's people oh, who romanticize that and the, and the you'd pandemic be bored in a fucking change in a second. For sure. In a second. Yeah. I'd probably be in Scott Sale. I wouldn't be in like the That's mountains. That has, living. has like two million people in that city. No, I understand that, but I like heat. I wouldn't be in. And there'd be cold. no pressure to like do anything with your Twitter account if you ever felt Fuck like no. it. No, you'd do it. Right? Like, it yeah. It's not like you, you don't need to like delete, delete it. Yeah. They're not going to be able to pinpoint where you are or what you're doing. No, I know, but I I would like to just follow like my White Sox beat writers and my his weird history accounts and shit like that, and just be happy. Social media is the fucking Satan. It's the worst. Got us jobs. It does. Mm. It's blessing and a curse for sure, but it's gotten a lot more bad than good, I think, within the last, obviously, for political reasons, last handful of years. I would be gone. You think? I'm not kidding. Yeah? Fuck yeah, I would. Without you guys hesitation. Don't, uh, you don't share that same thought? I th they don't know me well enough, I don't think. I don't know. Though. I I'm think very thankful for social media. It's it's done a lot of good, but and, just and like a lot of people should be like the anger. You don't have to move to New York or Chicago or L.A. to be big anymore, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So I don't know. That's helpful. We'll disagree on that one, but we're not going to have to argue. No, we don't. There we go. We can disagree, right? that. We'll see what the fans think of the show, the people who listen. And then I if, think people will like it. If it goes away from you, though, you could address what's going on. Okay. Um, all right, guys. My, thank oh, you. Yeah. That means I like won the lottery. Peace out, bitches. That went from a dress gate to serious or com more yeah, serious Yeah, how combo. about that? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. Um, all right, everybody. That's it for today. That's it for this week. Right. We'll see you all on Monday. See you next year <laughs> in this office.